Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. I honestly didn't know that you can look outside windows in F5 mode. Uh, that's kind of new to me, I didn't I didn't think that was possible for some reason, but yeah. Um, in the last episode we worked on some stuff in the nether, I'm not going to go there now. But for today, I, I had an idea. So I was going around my storage room here and I was thinking to myself we don't have much concrete and we don't work with much concrete and the main reason for that I think is that we don't really have the dies for it like we have this here and that's it really um, so today I want to work on two little farms one of them is gonna take a little while to do and another should hopefully take a few minutes only so the idea is uh, to make a squid farm for black ink because I have a feeling that I'll be using black dye a lot more than anything. And also a flower farm, which I've picked a location somewhere in that direction, which has a flower forest biome in. So that'll, that'll make a perfect location for a flower farm. And we have loads of bones for bone meal, so that should be no problem whatsoever. And that should produce pretty much every dye that we actually gonna need. So yeah, let's get one with the building. Okay, so here's the flower forest biome. I'm just gonna make a portal here and make another tunnel to it first because I'm I have a feeling I'm gonna need to go back and forth quite a bit and it's not the closest thing to fly to, so I think I'm just gonna put a portal around here and see where it takes me in the nether. And yeah, then I'll 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 make myself a nice little tunnel. Uh, how far is it from anything? Not far at all, okay. Um, spawn is this way, okay. Okay, so I have a tunnel design in mind, but unfortunately it's going to take a lot of hardened clay. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing this for a little while. Alright, I've made this tunnel here. I just need to add some flowers into the flower pots, but that's after we finish the flower farm. So I'm just gonna go here. I've got a shulker box with me full of stuff, and we should be able to start working on the flower farm. Now, I'm gonna be using a design by El Mango. If I remember, I'll put the link to his tutorial in the description. I probably won't remember, so eh, go find it by yourselves. Uh, he said something in his video that concerned me a little but I've done some testing uh, what he said was that when you bone meal an area the same flowers spawn in the same place but from my testing that's not true you can get different flowers spawning in the same blocks but I did find that there's a high probability of the same flower spawning in the same place however so we might have to pick our location wisely but I'm just gonna I'm gonna build this just somewhere nice also I think this was a piglin <laughs> Not anymore. 
Um, so I'm thinking around here because this has some nice flowers. Like right here maybe would be perfect, I don't know. Yeah, this is a flower biome, it's pretty big. Uh, it should be good. How was there two of them? Got the gold ingot, nice. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna start building and probably make a montage of it because I'm too lazy to talk. So I don't think I did the right kind of research for the flower farm, so I'm just going to leave it for now and I'm going to come back to it later. Uh, I'll probably finish it by the end of this episode. Um, I'm going to do some more research on what flowers can spawn where and all that stuff. But now I'm going to want to build my squid farm. So squid can only spawn in two types of biomes. It can spawn in any ocean biome or river biomes. Um, so what you basically want is if you're building into an ocean, you just want to make a massive perimeter. but yeah, I'm not doing that because that will take forever to do. Uh, so I'm going to try build this in a river biome. Ooh, ooh, I I accidentally reloaded chunks. Um, so I, I'm going to try find a nice big section of river where it's just river and not any other biome. So I'm thinking actually over here that this might work, but there is another location I have picked. Uh, I'm not happy there actually. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for a location. I I've already spent a while looking and. Found one decent place, but you know I'm not perf I'm not exactly happy with it. Yeah, it's a bit too close to an ocean biome, so I would have to have a very special spot to stand in, and I'd still have to clear out a lot of other rivers nearby so that squids can't spawn. Um, I might I might see if there's something some some kind of like tool that I can use to automate that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna. Find a location and start working on the squid farm. Also, this is almost ready to harvest. Nice. Okay, so after a, a, quite a while here, I, I was in creative mode in the same world. I made a copy of the world and um, after a while of searching for a good spot where all of the flowers possible are uh, in the same place. I found this spot here. Uh, unfortunately, it's one block too big in this direction, um, so I'm gonna have to have a different way for the item collection. Uh, instead of everything just being done with water, I'm actually gonna need to um, use a hopper minecart underneath this block here because this is nine blocks and water only reaches eight blocks. So yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with something Maybe not quite like this. Yeah, okay. I, I think I have a better plan already. But yeah, it, it won't be. It won't be very easy to do the collection. So I'm just gonna mess around with this, see what I can do, and hopefully it will all work. And I'll probably be back when this is all finished. Oh, right, everybody. So this is probably as much as I'm going to do for today. I've rebuilt this farm already and I had to change some redstone around because otherwise it wouldn't work. Um, and I've built an item sort over here. Uh, so that's probably going to be enough for today. Uh, it's taken quite a while to do this, actually. It's taken a few weeks to go over this all in, in total. Um, these are the sorters. They're just the most basic item sorters possible. 
Uh, we've got a total of 11 flowers possible here from this one farm. Uh, it's not all of the flowers in the game, but it's all the flowers you can get in a flower forest that aren't double height. I'm going to make another um, farm around here, like probably like right here, that's for double height, but that's a lot easier. You can just bone meal them and you'll get the same flower back. Um, whereas with this, you have to bone meal the ground and a lot of it is going to be grass. Um, so we've got some cornflowers, we've got all of the tulips. Uh, we've got the Oxide Daisies, Azure Blue 8, however you say it. Uh, I'm not sure what's here, I think it's a, I think it's poppies. Then I think we have dandelions. Then, then I think over here we're supposed to have um, those purple ones, alliums. And then over here we have the rarest of them all, or at least the rarest that we'll get from this. There's only one place where this can grow, in fact, all, all of these last four, they can only grow in one block throughout this whole thing. So, the Lily of the Valley, we only have one of them so far, and that's after many stacks of bone meal, actually. Um, we only have one of them, we need 41 for this filter to work. Um, so, it's going to take a while to get there. Um, but yeah, the Allium, the Lily of the Valley... The poppy and the dandelion, they only have one block to grow on, but that's fine because I don't really need too many of them because I, I can make most of the dyes. Um, I don't need yellow for anything really, if, and if I need yellow specifically, well then I can just probably find some other way of getting yellow dye. Um, I think this is the only way actually, but yeah, uh, this is all I'm going to do for today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this up off camera, of course. I'm going to change some things around here. I'm going to make the walls out of a solid block, not not just glass. Um, you can see it working. I don't have it loaded with bone meal right now, uh, but this is how it works. Just pushes back and forth. Um, there's two dispensers underneath placing bone meal when this would work normally. All of the items get flushed into the same place. Um, the items that might fall between the pistons, they get flushed down a different stream and then they all um, end up in the same stream and go around the top there. Uh, so that's pretty basic can turn it off and on here. Um, over here, anything that doesn't get sorted, either because the hoppers were full or because it's seeds, because we don't want them, they, they'll end up getting composted and we'll get some bone meal back. Uh, it's not it's not very much bone meal back from all this, but it, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Um, and yeah, that's probably it here. Uh, I was going to build a squid farm today as well, but I really don't have any more time and I need to edit this video. It's been weeks since I've started this. Also, you might notice my voice might be a little different. I'm playing around with some settings right now. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll see what it's like in the edit. Uh, might change the settings of my mic again. But I'll probably stick with these because they sounded pretty decent and pretty level to me. Uh, so one more thing while I'm saying goodbye here. I'm going to take you to the now. I'm going to move this portal, of course. Um, I built a tunnel over here for this. Um, I'm gonna have to like cover this with something because pigmen can spawn here. I didn't realize that they can spawn on packed ice, but it makes sense. It's a solid block. Um, so yeah, I, I placed um, ring all over here so they don't spawn on the sides, but I didn't think they spawn on packed ice, but they do. So yeah, this is the tunnel. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I should not have used wood in the nether, but Luckily for me, there's not much lava around in these spots, so it doesn't set on fire. And yeah, that's about it for today then, so uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything out. And until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.